Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday I let you know that Microsoft is insisting that TPM2 is what they're calling a non-negotiable necessity to be able to run Windows 11. Now I'll leave that video linked down below in the end screen because it is gaining a bit of interest, so go check it out for more info. But in regards to TPM2, which according to Microsoft is a non-negotiable for Windows 11, it seems now that Microsoft is allowing you to install Windows 11 24H2 on unsupported PCs as long as you have the so-called non-negotiable TPM2 on your PC, even if your CPU is not supported. Now, this is all according to a recent article posted by Neowin, where a experiment was conducted using an ISO image file of Windows 11 24H2 that was downloaded and flashed using Microsoft's official media creation tool app, which both, as you may well know, can be downloaded from the download Windows 11 site. Now, apparently, according to the experiment, all the PCs that were tested had unsupported CPUs, but had the trusted platform module TPM2 enabled. So just on a side note here, TPM2 is not new. It was introduced 10 years ago back in 2014, which was before Windows 11 rolled out with all its um, system and hardware requirements. And obviously it supported processors. So what this means basically is that if you have an older based device with an older processor, but you have TPM2, which can be enabled in your BIOS, then apparently Windows 11 will install fine on your PC. And according to this experiment, the installation process went well. There were no issues or blocks and it connected to the internet and downloaded all available updates without any problems. Now, one thing just to take note of here is they say that in true Microsoft fashion, the PC Health Check app, although um, Windows 11 was installed on those unsupported PCs with TPM2 enabled, the PC Health Check app indicated that the devices were still not compatible with the operating system and came up with obviously um, reasons why you could not install Windows 11 because that device, according to the PC Health Check app, was unsupported. And apparently, um, turning off TPM2 would also block the installation with a message that the system in question is not compatible with Windows 11. And the same apparently with this experiment, the same happened when trying to install Windows 11 version 23H2. So some interesting stuff going on here. But basically, at the end of the day, what you can take away from this video and that post by Neowin is that as long as you have the non-negotiable TPM2 requirement, as I posted in that video yesterday, you can install Windows 11, 24H2 or 23H2 on unsupported hardware according to the experiment that was conducted. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.